Hey, what's up, YouTubers? Mr. Jubble back with another video, and today I'm going to show you uh, what net neutrality is and why it's a good thing. So let's get started. Uh, this is the internet, all right? This in the back, this little house that I have in the background made out of white stuff and this brown and red stuff. This is your internet provider, all right? So this is either Comcast, Time Warner, or AT and T. Those are the pretty much the big three, all right? So these guys give you internet. Uh, and this these little squares right here so this one is let's call this Facebook this is Netflix and this is your favorite site you guys know what I'm talking about all right and this is how much internet they have to give to you right so as you can see every single site has an equal amount of internet so Facebook has three blocks Netflix has three blocks and uh, your favorite site has three blocks all right and all of this stuff gets equally to you so the pipeline towards you is completely equal by each side this is net neutrality. It's completely equal, and no one is, gets favorited, right? So what? So let me tell you why the big companies don't like that, okay? So Comcast, Verizon, AT&T, Time Warner, they they want more money, right? That's basically the big thing that they want. Uh, which I don't blame them. They're a business. That's their main goal is to get more money. But the way they want more money is very destructive. Uh, so let's let's explain a little bit further. All right. So what Comcast, at and Verizon want, they want to stop net neutrality, right? So they want these sites, they want Facebook, Netflix, and your favorite site to pay them more money so that they can provide a faster service for each of these sites, right? And this gives Comcast like billions of more dollars, all right? Comcast, all those other companies. So how this is going to work is the companies with more money will, you know, have a faster connection to you. So let's say Facebook, right? Facebook and Comcast has a deal. Uh, Facebook gives a Comcast a couple million and they get three blocks, three full blocks of internet, all right? Uh, Netflix doesn't, let's say Netflix doesn't have that much money, right? Uh, Netflix has a fair amount of money, but the, the way that they're set up, they, may, they benefit the user a lot, all right? So Netflix can't really offer as many millions as Facebook can. So Netflix gets uh, two blocks of internet, right? So let me just let this water load out, and you'll get the point. So remember, the water is how fast the internet gets to you. It's basically the, what the internet is made out of. So Netflix can only afford two blocks of internet because, you know, uh, you only have to pay $8 for, like, unlimited movies. And your favorite site, the pink one right here, they don't have that much money, right? They're, maybe they're a startup, they're a small company, and they, can't, they basically can't afford to pay millions to Comcast to get fast internet. So they can only afford one block. So you guys can see how this kind of works, right? This becomes kind of unfair. The companies with more money get more space on the internet for them. Uh, this is unfair to the user, and it's basically gonna the end result uh, comes down on you, right? It, it it makes services worse for you, all right? So Comcast is getting billions from these companies to give you internet, and Comcast is getting money from you, like $150 a month or something. Uh, to you know give you internet so Comcast is getting paid from two spaces now right from you and your service right now the problem this the problem this creates is these companies need to earn money right Netflix needs to earn money Netflix has employees that they have to pay and they have a service uh, they have to buy movie licenses that kind of stuff right and you only paying eight dollars a month they can't afford that that much right so these this Netflix company is gonna have they might fire some people uh, they might uh, restrict uh, they might make the price higher and now you don't want that right first of all it's already bad that a company has to fire its employees but it's even worse if the service becomes more expensive to you right so instead of eight dollars a month it freaking becomes like thirty dollars a month so they could benefit the cost right because net Netflix is paying Comcast millions right and they're only getting like eight dollars from you so they have to increase the price so they get more money so they can balance it out again right so now let's say that Netflix pays Comcast a couple more million right and now you have to pay thirty dollars a month for Netflix okay so now Netflix is on par with uh, with Facebook right and your tiny little site that doesn't really generate that much money maybe it's run by one person that one still has crippling slow internet so these guys can see why uh, stopping net neutrality would be a little bit unfair because the companies with more money will basically have bigger a bigger part of the pipeline and companies with less money will have uh, nothing right and all of this stuff that they're doing is very bad towards you because either you have to pay more or you're gonna have to watch a lot more ads on YouTube right because that's how stuff works on the internet 
Uh, it's either you pay for something or you watch ads. It, it's a great model and it works very well. But as you can see, the end result is down on you. You have to pay more for Netflix. You have to pay Comcast on top of that. And all these little companies have to pay Comcast. So Comcast is just becoming the freaking mafia for money, right? Like, hey, I'll give you a little bit of the internet if you give me this much. You know, like, protection. It's just, it's unfair and no one likes it except for Comcast. Which is why you guys should totally do something about it. You know, contact a representative. Uh, try to get, you know, try to do whatever you can. I'll give a couple links in the description below for petitions and stuff. Uh, and, yeah, that's pretty much it. As you guys can see, why net neutrality is a good thing. And stopping it will be a bad thing. I hope you guys enjoyed. And if you did, please leave a like. And, yeah, that's pretty much all. Thank you guys for watching. And I'll see you guys next time.